Um, <clears throat> well, clearly across these four games, we're needing to look at different players uh, ahead of the World Cup. So today was part of that process. We knew on the back of a physically tough game in Germany the other night also to refresh the team was, was going to be important. Um, so it's the same as I said yesterday, you know, you're of course wanting to win the games and um, we're disappointed not to win the game. I think we had two or three very good chances that you know we, we have to take. You, you don't get loads of chances in games against the top level teams, that's how it is. We'd like to have created more given the amount of possession we had and we definitely used the ball better in the back two thirds of the field than we did the other night. So that was uh, pleasing. Um, <coughs> but in the end, we, we've not got the goal uh, to make the difference. And, uh, you know, in, uh, we uh, very, very reliant on Harry and, and Raheem for our goals at the moment. And uh, that's, that is a, a concern. Um, with the players that came into the team, very pleased with uh, um, Aaron Ramsdale. I thought he, he made important saves, was very calm in possession of the ball. Um, so that, that was exactly what we were hoping he would bring. <coughs> with uh, Fikayo, who I thought um, in the main defended very well, was calm with the ball. His speed is uh, a great asset for us at the back. So I thought he played with confidence. I thought Prowsey did a very good job, used the ball well, organised the game. Um, his switches of play were good. So I thought it was a really positive night for him. Um, and Tammy, we were happy with. We took him off because we wanted to refresh the forwards at that stage of the game to, to try to win the game. Um, he'll obviously be disappointed not to take the chance right at the start. But uh, I thought his, his hold-up play was good and he, he worked well for the team. Yeah. How do you see it? Is it, is it must win against Hungary? Well, to to win the group, we we need to win on Tuesday. So, and um, I think having a full house here will be a huge lift for the players. You know, you're at a stage of the season where it's been incredibly difficult for them. Two very tough away games, and to come here and play in front of no fans when you're having those moments where you're pressing for the goal and you're, you're dominating the game, but there's nothing coming from the terraces, and then the opponent don't have the pressure of the fans behind them. So, really tough schedule for them. Two tough away games and a home game that isn't an advantage, other than the people who've looked after us brilliantly here. So. We can't wait to come here on Tuesday when the place will be bouncing and it just will add that extra percentage or two that at this point we, we, we could do with that help. Hi <coughs> Gareth, you've mentioned a few times about how reliant the team is on Harry Kane and Raheem. Phil, um, yeah, I think it's going to be really difficult given the volume of training he's had to this point. Um, it's frustrating because we've only had him available for, I think, six matches this season um, and um, yeah I think we've started him in five of those and brought him on in the other so it's, it's no secret that we like the player um, but I just think yeah the the reaction to training that he's had or the inability to train at, at a real intensity to this point we're only two days away from uh, you know from that decision so He's desperate to give it a go. He wants to be with us. We'll have a look at him again tomorrow. But I think it's, you know, I've got to be realistic about it.